Hello friends! We conducted a series of experiments on the performance of different Windows editions and now you finally find out which Windows is actually the fastest and most productive. It took many days to prepare this video and now we know the truth. No matter what various experts say in the comments, practice and experiment have shown which Windows is the best. Watch carefully because each experiment in its own way reveals the pros and cons of certain operating system. And in the end, let's summarize which Windows is more productive. I heard different ideas and read a lot about which Windows is better. Some computer experts say that the fastest and lightest Windows 10 Home because the professional edition adds more business features that make the system more elephant -y. while others say that the 7 is still the lightest and better. In the comments someone writes that Windows 8.1 was Microsoft's peak of success and then everything disappeared. And on the contrary, I thought that the most productive one is Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. Very interesting, is that so? Right now we will take these four systems, we will not test Professional Edition, because Home is practically the same, only lighter, and we will conduct several experiments on them. To do this we will use one laptop and the most approximate settings and conditions so that everything is honest. To achieve the correct conditions for the experiment I had to torment myself, each system had to be installed in full. All of them were 64-bit, then the drivers, the same set of programs, and in order to install the 7 it was necessary to format the hard drive separately and test it separately and wait a single day so that she got all the latest updates. Therefore, immediately appreciate this work with your like, subscribe to the channel PCNP and remember that your comments are very important. Probably you are already impatient to see the actual experiments and there will be 7 of them. Let's start. The first test is turning on Windows. Here we will determine which Windows boots faster. For this comparison to be objective, it is necessary, as I said already, to make sure that after clean installation of Windows, the same programs and drivers are installed. Updates are installed because updates can slow down the loading. We make several launches for each system and detect it to determine the fastest start. We start the countdown from the appearance of the manufacturer's logo and finish as soon as the browser starts. This means that the system is ready to work. Are you ready? Go! The first is the 8, 22 seconds. In second place is Windows 10 Home with a record of 46 seconds, followed by 7 with the best time of 50 seconds and finished Windows 10 LTSC 62 seconds. Interesting results. I think one of the reasons why the laptop turned on so fast on the figure 8, it was released along with the Windows 8 and drivers for it was exactly for Windows 8. It is also interesting here that the home overtook the 7 by loading. This is an occasion to think to those who said that the 7 is the fastest, but it's too early to say anything is just a start, it will be more interesting further. The second test is the state of memory and processes in the task manager immediately after start. This shows that all these systems really work in different ways. We started the task manager immediately and waited until the system entered a stable working state. It shows how much the processor is involved. As a result, the 7 launched 45 processes, 8.1, 42 processes. Windows Home 140 processes and LTSC 122 processes. Well, this gives us little. The processes are different. The difference in processor performance will be better understood in the following tests. More interesting here is what happens to memory. 7 took only 1.12 GB. Before update it took 3 GB. 
so the updates work. 8.1 took 900 megabytes of 8 gigabytes, an absolute minimum. 10 Home uses 1.9 gigabytes and LTC 1.5. In this test, as in the past, the 8 shows itself as a very light and not demanding system. The third test is the launch of the program. Working with the computer, we use different programs, and it is important for us that they quickly start and work. How the same program will run on different systems? I will use the GIMP program. This is a free alternative to Photoshop. It takes long time to start, loading into RAM many different small files with libraries and fonts. We will make several launches in each system and determine the best results. Let's go! The 7 loads in 13 seconds, the 8 in 28 seconds, LTSC in 29 seconds and the home in 31 seconds. Let me remind you, these are their best results. Finally, fans of Windows 7 can be proud of it, very productive use of memory. But the next test will show processor performance. The fourth test is the processor benchmark. The program SignBench 15 will help with this. It loads the processor with calculations and shows points for performance. Which system do you think is better? And here are the results. Windows 7 215, Windows 8 217, Windows 10 Home 212 and LTC 218. And here are the results of SignBench 20 but it didn't work on the 8th edition. Windows 7 463, Windows 10 Home 461, Windows 10 LTC 465. In both versions of the program the results are identical. LTC shows the best performance, in second place is 8.1, in third is a 7 and the last Home. But it is worth to note that the difference is very small. Between 1st and 4th place, 6 points in the 1st benchmark and 4 points in the 2nd. This is 2.5 and 1%. In the 5th test there is one more benchmark and more interesting results. We use 3 Mark 06, it evaluates the performance in games. We compare the results and there is a big difference. The 7th Windows and Windows 10 LTC show high results with a 7 slightly higher in drawing and LTC is better in the processor test. But the 8 and the home have less FPS and slower rendering, and the home version is the worst. Your opinion is interesting here, write your theories in the comments why did 3D Mark show such results. It turns out that the 7 and the LTC edition are best suited for games or 3D Mark showing something wrong because of its age. Drivers were everywhere and on the background there were no other applications that would interfere. And the sixth test will help us finally understand the performance. We will convert a video file from one format to another and compare the time spent on the task. We will convert the same file in the same program with the same settings. And imagine my surprise, the results were different. The fastest conversion showed LTC, 1 minute 46 seconds. Then there was 7, 1 minute and 54. Third Windows 8.1, 2 minutes and 9 seconds. And at the end Home Edition, 2 minutes and 18 seconds. The results are again similar. LTC and the 7 are more productive than Home Edition. And finally, the seventh test, which system takes up less space on drive C, this also indirectly affects speed, because drive C needs free space for fast system operations. Let's measure the size of the Windows folder, having previously deleted from it what can be deleted and which will create a large error in comparison. Temporary files for updating. Here the 8 edition turned out to be the most compact, followed by 10 Enterprise. We can summarize. What on the basis of these experiments can be said about each edition of Windows? Windows 7. 
It doesn't turn on very quickly, but it launches programs quickly, requires little memory, gives good performance in games and applications, takes up a lot of disk space after numerous updates over so many years of existence. Windows 8.1 turns on like a rocket, minimizes RAM load, gives good processor performance, but poor graphics performance, minimum disk size. Windows 10 Home starts quickly, loads RAM, runs programs slowly, shows the weakest processor and graphics performance. Windows 10 LTC The launch is long, not very demanding on RAM, the best in processor performance and very good in 3D graphics. Takes up less space. Your reaction to this conclusion is very interesting. Based on this voluminous experiment, I made two main conclusions. The first one, the edition of Windows 10 LTC is the best suited for this laptop. It gives the best performance. And the 7 is good if you do not want to say goodbye to it. And the second one, comparing my result with others, there are differences. And I think I could have errors because of driver features. But this is more about graphics. Here we had big differences. Therefore, if you want the fastest Windows in games, Keep in mind that there may be differences on your computer. The home version can also show itself well. If you have a new computer, then the performance will be better in Windows 10. If very old, maybe in the 7. But this is all a theory. Our experiment showed that the Windows 10 LTSC gives the best result due to its stability and reliability. You can install a trial version of it which is on Microsoft website and test yourself which is faster. Write about your results to us. Stay on the PCNP channel, there you'll find a lot of videos about computers, windows and gadgets. And let your windows work without problems. See you on there again!